All right, I'm heading fishing today, but let me show you the tackle box I'm taking. This is it. Really not a tackle box, more just a sleeve. I've got some pop bars in there, some H&H &H spinners, an Echo 1.75. And that's about it. I'm heading on a river flow today with Joe Levine. You've seen me do that many times before. It's always a blast. I absolutely love it. And now it's the fall, so it's been really, really good lately. Joe's been catching a whole bunch of fish. And that's the plan for today. As you can tell, it's already daylight. I'm not supposed to meet him until 8 o'clock. Probably get on the river around 9 o'clock. He doesn't like going early. Feels like the fishing is better midday. That means you get to sleep in. Nothing wrong with that, right? All right, come along with us. This should definitely be a whole lot of fun. All right, Joe and I just put in to discover that unfortunately the river's dirty. It's kind of inexplicable. It hasn't rained here in really weeks, but uh, it's not the cleanest. Last time we did this exact same float, we had the same issue. Water was just a little dirty, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. There he is. All right. Not a big fish, but a borderline keeper. Caught on my favorite marsh spinner bait, H and H Gold Number Four, Death Grip Jig Head, and Shrimp Creole Matrix Shad. It's good in the marsh, and apparently good on the river. What do you think, Bo? You want him? Yeah, we're going, you know, I want him. I like those small ones. Yeah, I like these. There he is. Bo, you might have the bait there. Oh, look at this, already. Oh, <laughs> Yep, thank you, Bo. It's the only one I brought. <laughs> what? This, it's the only one of these I brought. Now, if you've never seen me do one of these floats with Joe, he's been doing this all his life. And back in the day, he and his buddies used to use two trucks. They'd leave one at the takeout point and then bring themselves back up to the put-in point and just retrieve the more northerly truck at the end of the day. Those days are gone though. You can't leave your truck on side of the highways anymore because they'll get towed. So Joe has an extremely gracious wife who drops him off and picks him up. Got a little bit of overcast. Uh, I, the conditions ought to be good, I mean. Yeah. There he is. That's a good fish. Head up, head up. Hey man, that's a good sign. You said you have one. I only have one, yep. That's it. Yep, it's gone. All right, so I lost the hot bait. That's part of the deal here. You get a lot of snags, a lot of stuff in the river. This is one of Joe's favorites, chartreuse and white humdinger spinner bait. So I'm gonna throw that for a bit. He is currently throwing a chartreuse and white buzz bait. He just literally on his maybe second or third cast got a, got a blow up, but the fish missed it. So hopefully that's a, a trend. Get lots of hits on that, that'd be fun. We ain't gonna give up on him yet. We're gonna try. We're gonna find some fish. Oh, there he is. There he is. We're gonna a, try. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. there we go. That's a good fish. Yes, sir. Yeah, boy, that's a good sign. All right. These fish grow up in these rivers. Boy, they get so strong. A fish this size fights twice as hard as a largemouth. So much fun. This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by Publius Sporting Goods. Oh, you gotta be kidding. How did you miss it? Yeah, it was a good fish. 
He ripped the rod out of my hands. There's one. I let him go, huh? Oh. Nice. Boy, was that worth the price of admission or what? That was awesome. Was that pretty? <laughs> that was pretty. Right where he should have been, huh? And he was right where he should have been. Moment here, Bo? Yeah. I don't think me and you have ever made a trip without 20. No. Mm -mm. We haven't. Don't jinx us, Bo. Oh man, shoot. He hit it right when he hit the water. Oh, oh, there he is. That's a good hit, Bo. That's a good fish. Look at that, Bo. Yeah, baby. That's us. Yeah. All right. We needed that, Bo. I tell you what, that's the third hit I got in about five casts. Maybe they're turning the corner. That's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? All right. Still amazing to me how these fish, how they fight. Just incredible. Oh, there he is. Go ahead, Bo. Man, man, what are you? You on a log? Oh. He's not even that big. He's he acting like he's log, big. Bro. You think? Huh? Was he on the log? Yeah, he was on that log. Pretty big. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Bo. All right. Oh, there he is. You called it, you called it. Hey, make a good little large one. Yeah, largey, look at that. Short enough. Oh, there he is. There we go. There we go, good fish. And all of a sudden hitting the spinner bait again. Yeah. Gotta hope they keep hitting. That's so crazy. Oh. Look at you. You threw it in his mouth. God, oh, he missed it. God, oh, that was a Good God. fish. Oh. And he decide they're gonna hit, they're gonna hit. Oh, it's he crazy. Mounted, he mounted before I even made a turn. I didn't really get a good hook set. Oh, that was a good one, bro. You went back. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> He's hurting me. He's hurting me. Get him, Joe. Whoa. Nice. Good fish. Good fish. Watch behind you. Watch behind you. Oh. <laughs> he hit me way out. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, he stopped it, huh? He stopped it. Nice. It. Nice. Stopped it. All right. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Where'd you come from, boy? You're out in the middle of nothing. I'm not complaining, though. We hit it two or three times. Oh. You got him? Oh. They turn it on, Bo. They turn it on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Man. All right. Now Joe and I went about 20 minutes without a bite. That's kind of how this river fishing is. Sometimes it just inexplicably happens. 
Joe feels like the fish just turn off and then they turn on. Well, all of a sudden they have turned on and now we're catching them like crazy. The beauty of doing this, obviously it's a lot more fun catching fish, but even when you're not catching fish, it is still a blast. It's just so nice being on these rivers. They're beautiful. It's nice and cool. It's kind of like a nature tour that you get to catch fish on. Not a person around. Nope. Oh, goodness. I can bring it to the side. <laughs> oh. That's a good one, Bo. That is a good one, Bo. Nice. Is that beautiful? Is that beautiful? Took two casts, huh? Yep. Whoa. Oh, he missed it. Oh, look at the look at the boil. So pretty. So down. pretty. That was a good fish. In a perfect spot. Oh. oh going yeah, I hope it doesn't pop out because man, these fish have turned on. Damn, I don't know why that fish did This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by Death Grip Jig Heads. And by sportsmansoutfitters.com. And by Cito New Orleans. And by Bill Lewis Lures. And by Community Motors. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you can't get any better than that. They all of a sudden crushing that. There he is. Oh. Yeah, he whacked it. Oh, goodness. That's a beast. Bo, that's a beast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fish of the day right there. That's a nice one. And then that current right by that wood. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, a beautiful fish. Nice. He still ain't as big as I thought he was. <laughs> I said he's still not as big as I thought he was. Every time they hit, man, it's like, oh, that's a giant. I mean, it's a nice fish. He's fat, really fat. Beautiful. Thick fish. fish. Beautiful. They suck his pool. Man, they do. It's crazy. Yeah, you think you got a five pound? Correct. That's exactly right. Yeah, that first run, like I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't turn him. Hey, that's a big fish. Hey, All right. Got a face full of skirt. All right, Joe and I were quite selective in what we kept today. We just put our 20th fish in the boat. We still got another couple hours at least of this float, but take a look. Definitely an impressive haul. We got some really nice fish in there. I just took them out to count them to ensure we had the right amount, and I was surprised. We had some really, really nice fish in there. Now, the beauty of this is most days this river is unfishable because if you get a bunch of rain, like in the summertime, in the winter, whatever, you get these high river flows, it's just unfishable. You cannot catch fish here. So when it is right, you can keep a few fish without feeling bad about it. And look, the reality is most people can't do this just because of the logistics involved it's definitely tough to do so there's no reason to feel guilty at all about keeping a few fish i know i certainly don't and let me tell you these spotted bass are really really good to eat i can't wait to get home it's gonna be a feast yeah i think it was probably a little brim a little perch See, that's still another thing that ain't really happening oh that's not a perch that's a good fish <laughs> that's a big one. Oh, bo look at this fish <laughs> Live to see yes, day. he is. That's number 21 for us, so he's gonna. 22. Oh, it's 22, huh? We caught another throwback. He's gonna get to see tomorrow.
trip. My expectations were high, but we actually exceeded them. You just cannot beat these rivers in the fall. It's just among my favorite things to do. And it definitely helps that I'm doing it with a guy who's been fishing those rivers all of his life and just knows them like the back of his hand. The guy calls his shot constantly. It's just really an impressive thing to see. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to so be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on.